Good day everyone. Today's presentation is on ETAP GIS and mainly on how to utilize ETAP GIS to better design, analyze, and expand transmission and distribution networks. Now we can talk about some of the design and analysis tools that are supported with uh, GIS. Unbalanced power flow is typically required due to many single phase laterals. It supports upwards of 10 million components. The study can be completed on a partial system. It uh, supports equipment sizing. Alerts are supported, also multiple visualization techniques. So I'm going to actually bring up ETAP uh, GIS and just quickly show um, on the left hand side, I have the logical view. Right. This is what a lot of our uh, power engineer uh, users are, are very comfortable or this is what they're used to seeing. So you see the radial representation with all the loads here on uh, coming off of different buses um, through cables, through transformers, and then you have your sources kind of all the way on top. So it's a typical radiological system. Now over on the right hand side is the source for this. Um, you'll notice that we could have uh, Google Maps, for example, in the background, and we could see uh, geographically where the line is located. We could see where the substation is located and where the different loads are located, right? The logical representation is automatically generated from the GIS and all of the, the connectivity as well. Now, we could actually run the most basic or actually the, the mother of all studies, which is the unbalanced load flow. Unbalanced load flow will not only provide you with the, the voltage drop, power flow information, but it will also provide us with alerts. So anytime, uh, for example, a cable or a protected device frame is overloaded, you'll notice that it automatically flags those components as red on the, on the logical view on the left. And then it'll provide you with an alert view here on the bottom so that you could quickly spot and fix any deficiencies on the system. This is very common the first time that you import the data from GIS. A lot of times, you know, maybe instead of a 100 amp fuse, the person doing the data collection put 10 amps, right? They missed a zero. So errors like that will automatically be, be caught by the unbalanced load flow engine. Uh, over on the right hand side, we can also see, uh, we can also visualize um, the, the different uh, loads, transformers, protected devices, and you could also see how the power flow, right, uh, graphically is, is going from the source to the different uh, loads. Uh, so just wanted to show everyone the, um, uh, the different views between the ETAP logical single line diagram and then the GIS and how they're both tied together. So continuing on with the types of studies that are available is unbalanced short circuit. This study type accurately models unbalanced networks, especially transposed lines and unbalanced shunt devices and sources. Also, it'll do a simulation, serious compensate uh, lines, simultaneous faults. So if you have multiple circuits on the same pole, you can simulate simultaneous faults on that and also you can perform study faults at several locations. The ETAP load allocation software considers automatic meter readings, AMR 15 minute of KW and KVAR demand combined with a number of methods to allocate the load correctly for each load point. Actually most power flow programs that are used to study power systems from the substation down to the primary terminals of the distribution transformers and they tried to figure out what should the load be for each transformer? Until recent years, the only information that engineers would have about the load would be the transformer KVA rating. In some cases, the KW per hour consumption of each customer was known in addition to information on which customers were connected to each transformer. With load allocation module, uh, ETAP can use the existing meter and also the model information to estimate the load at each customer. Thank you everyone for attending this presentation.